Good afternoon, everybody. What is going on? I am Jeff Graham Media, and today's real user review, we're going to be taking a look at the Gregory Nano 20. Now, to get this out of the way, right up top, I have no affiliation with Gregory packs in any way, shape, or form. But hey, Gregory, you got a lot of packs out there with no content on them. I think we can help each other out. So uh, if you want to get at me, there's an email in the description down below. I bought this bag with my own money directly from Gregory on sale, probably what I'd buy it around Christmas time or so. And I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty warm with this puffer jacket on right now, so we're going to have to lose it real quick. I wore it because uh, this is kind of the layer I have been wearing while using the pack. Um, it's been very, very mild here this year, so I've basically been wearing that puffer or like a sweatshirt in like my uh, my North Face, uh, that's the Nano Puff, Thermal Ball, my North Face Thermal Ball uh, vest. Um, that's kind of how I've been hiking a lot lately because it's been so mild I haven't wanted to wear a jacket and I am sweating right now and it's not even that hot, but I digress. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get into this real user review by running through a quick couple of specs first. The Nano 20 is still currently on sale. For $52, you can get the cobalt or the teal colorways. For $56, you can get the navy, amber, or orange colorways. And for $79.95, you can get the black colorway. The bag is made from a 210D Honeycomb Crypto Ripstop HD Nylon. And the bottom is a 420D HD Nylon. The lining of the pack is a 40% post-consumer recycled 135D polyester. Okay, so I bought this bag for a little bit of a completely different reason than what it's made for. This is obviously a 20 liter day hiking pack. So, why did I get this when I'm in love with my Matador Beast 28 as my hiking pack? Well, I wanted a, uh, a Disney bag. So we're going to Disney to take uh, my daughter, Miss Hazel Fantastic for her fifth birthday in October. So I went down this rabbit hole, bought a bunch of bags that I really like. And by a bunch, I mean, there was a lot of bags that I was considering picking up for this trip. Now, did I need a bag for this trip? No, absolutely not, but I wanted one, so it was an excuse. So I went down this huge rabbit hole and then I found the Nano on sale um, around Christmas time for, I think I might've even actually paid a little less than $52. I think I paid like 42 or $46 for the bag. So I got the bag for a steal of a deal. But it did check a lot of boxes for me. Mainly, we got water bottle pockets. We've got the Durastretch front pocket. This was a biggie for me. I really, really, really wanted the Durastretch front pocket for Disney. Um, I think this is gonna come in super handy when Hazel ultimately makes me buy a big stuffy that I can kind of cram in here, or it still rains in Florida in, uh, in October, so we're gonna have some wet wing jack, wet, wet rain jackets. I could throw those up front here. Um, so it did check a ton of the boxes for me and the price point was awesome. And it's still a really good price point. So I did buy this to be my Disney dad bag, um, but I did use this as a day hiker and I did use this as my dad bag to kind of dry run it to see how it was gonna work for me. Now I will say um, it did work pretty good as a dad bag. Um, I have gone through other hiking packs that I've tried to use as dad bags that did not work. This did, this did work pretty well as a dad bag and I'm still pretty solid that this is going to be my Disney bag, but um, it's it's only February, October's still eight months away. Something else could strike my fancy, but thus far this is still going to be my Disney bag. But I couldn't just let the pack sit around until October unused, so I threw it into rotation. Now I did, again, use this as my dad bag and I did use this hiking. So I probably use this on the trail a little more than I dad bagged it, but I will say it does have some flaws just like every product out there. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the negatives and end on a positive note. This bag is 20 liters. That means it's for a single person. Now I do hike my daily hikes, even if we're only going for a mile or two, I use a Matador Beast 28. A lot of people think that's too big of a pack, but I carry for myself, my wife, my daughter, and stuff for Duke the dog. So I actually carry for three people and a dog. So I need a larger pack. This bag was, it worked, and it wasn't really all that uncomfortable, but it was big and it was bulky. And uh, I did feel a sway on the back a little bit when I was trying to carry for all of us. Now. The day I did carry for the three plus dog, it was a very light day. It was a very mild day, but I did actually throw a couple of extra puffer jackets in here because it was super mild. And then we were climbing an elevation. We're going kind of, I don't want to say up in the mountains because 
we live in Pennsylvania. There's no really big mountains here, but we went up into the mountain. So there was a temperature drop, but I brought extra layers and the bag was packed out. So it did carry, but not super comfortably. I mean, it wasn't uncomfortable to wear, but it wasn't the most comfortable bag to wear carrying for three people. Now I have since hiked with just me and Duke. And that's how I have it packed out right now. It's kind of a hybrid right now. It's got a mix of my, uh, my dad bag stuff with my hiking stuff because there's a lot of crossover between what I generally carry in my hiking bag and what I carry in my dad bag. And it was very comfortable, me and Duke hiking, and I wore it with the puffer jacket when it was just me and Duke. It was very, very comfortable to wear when I'm wearing it for one person. So three people, not so much. One person, 20 liters is plenty. It was very comfortable, it did its job, it really worked well. Now, the other negative is they fit a hydro flask Absolutely no problem. They also fit my Camelback chute, no problem. But, old school 32 ounce Nalgene bottle, that is not really fitting. I mean, it can really get it in there, but it doesn't fit a 32 ounce Nalgene very good at all. Now, why do I carry a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle? This is why I carry a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle. Because Duke the dog requires a wide mouth 32 ounce Nalgene bottle to satisfy him. Now, he's like Oliver, he does like to drink water from the creek, but the last hike when it was just me and Duke, there was, uh, there was no water. We were out kind of back in the woods. There would have been water if we got farther back, but um, we didn't get that far back. So I did carry this, actually had this both days, but I did end up tossing it just inside the main compartment of the bag. The bottle seals up pretty solid, so I wasn't worried about spillage inside the bag. But the pockets, they're a little small and they don't fit larger water bottles. And there you have it, that's really it for the negatives. I don't really have that many negatives with the bag. It actually is working really, really well for me. So we're gonna go ahead and roll into the points of note. And the very first one, you can see this Dura Stretch pocket. It kind of has this sag going on to it. Now it's not super taut, so it does allow you to fit more in there because you do have a lot of extra fabric here, but if you don't want to secure it, it, uh, it kind of dangles down like that. Now you could easily just snap this in and now everything is super secure in there and that's great and that's great now nothing's gonna fall out but this was a little more taut yes i'd be able to fit a little less in here but you would definitely be able to secure everything without an extra step of clipping it or unclipping it now is it a deal breaker no absolutely not i could still access the bag actually with it closed i could still get my stuff in and out so there's still plenty of room there but if i wanted to have say a really large item that's going to stick out the top like maybe my daughter buys a huge stuffy at disneyland it's gonna stick out the top and I'm not going to be able to secure it closed. Again, not a deal breaker, but just something I would have liked to see is to just have this as a little bit more taut and without having the strap and then it would just be useful with on its own. The next point, you can kind of see this. There is a nylon one inch webbing hip belt that is non-removable, but there are these little cutouts at the bottom of the back panel for you to actually stick it in. Now it does actually kind of go through all the way so you can tuck it back, but you know, you can simply just tuck this in here. I mean, I just kind of had it rolled up the, uh, the webbing and just kind of stuck it in there. Because if you've been following along for a while, I generally do not like hip belts. Yes, I will wear them if I'm carrying a very large heavy load, but on the regular, I don't like them. I generally take them off of bags and I don't really like when they're attached and I cannot remove them. But in this case, again, they're very simple. You just kind of roll up the webbing there's actually a groove right in the back panel that you can stick this right in. It tucks out of way and you don't feel this at all on your back. So if you're like me and you don't like a hip belt, it is non-removable, but it sticks right inside and it's completely gone. I forgot it was even on the bag because it tucks away nice and neat. And the next and last point of note is it does have this quick access pocket that I feel it's a little shallow. I mean, it's deep enough. It's almost the size of my hand. And I have stuff in here like a pair of Hazel's glasses. Oh, I do, I have the smaller first aid kit in here right now. The, this is, I do carry a larger one hiking. I think it might be in the body of the bag. I might have taken it out. And I did have a headlamp in here, but I'm currently testing it. And um, since it's pitch black in the morning when I walk through, 
I was uh, testing it this morning. But this quick access pocket, it's a little bit shallow. It comes to right about like where the fold would be on this uh, this stir stretch pocket. I feel like it could be a little bit deeper. Um, I mean, I could fit everything I want in there, but I feel like I, it's a little crammed when I had the headlamp in here. It just felt like it was a little tight. And that's it. That's all for my negatives and points of notes. Now let's get into the positives of the bag. It's a great bang for your buck. I mean, you can get this bag right now for $52. That's a great price. And even at the $80, if you wanna get the solid black one, that's still not a bad price. There's a lot of bag here. It's very functional and it's very, very comfortable on the back and it works. It just works really well as a day pack, like it's intended, and it works really well as a dad bag. And for the price point, you really can't beat it. It was actually a surprise when I got it for even less than that. But again, I got it around Christmas. It was like a Black Friday sale or something like that. So, I mean, if you keep your eyes out, you can get these for next to nothing. And it's a great pack. And Gregory's a pretty well-known brand. And not to mention Gregory's a pretty well-known brand. It's a simple yet functional design. I really, really liked it. Even this back panel, it's actually pretty nice. You can see here it has these cutouts in the foam. Now it's not a super dense foam, but it's probably, you know, quarter to a half an inch thick. So it's got just enough padding to feel good on my back and all these cutouts with the mesh, it actually had some pretty good airflow. Now it is is winter, even though it's been like 50, 60 degrees a lot in February in Pennsylvania, but um, I didn't sweat out a lot. So in the summer, especially in Disney, I'm definitely gonna sweat a lot more, but I feel like this back is gonna be vented enough that it's gonna feel really good carrying it as opposed to something that's gonna have a solid back panel or very little air channels on it. In the water bladder pocket, it's pretty deep. I could totally fit my tablet in here. Now it's back padded, it's not front padded, but I can st totally fit mine and maybe my daughter's tablets in here. So that'll be very, very useful for traveling through the airport. And the bag is very, very comfortable to wear. And again, this is my basic setup. I was wearing it either over this puffer with like a t-shirt or maybe, I don't even think I had a sweatshirt underneath, maybe a button down. I tend to wear flannels a lot, even hiking. Um, or I was wearing a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, and my uh, thermoball, which is about the same thickness of the Nano Puff. So, I mean, they're basically the same thing. One's North Face, one's Patagonia, but this is about what I would wear it. Even dad bagging it. Like this is one of my go-to jackets. This, or um, I've been wearing my tri-climate jacket. I didn't wear that hiking. And I don't think I actually wore it with my North Face tri-climate at all. Maybe over like a denim jacket or something if I was dad bagging it, but it's really comfortable. I have plenty of flex and movement while wearing the bag. So all in all, all in, do I recommend the Gregory Nano 20? And uh, it's a simple yes. This bag was really, really great. I'm gonna continue to use this now. I probably won't day hike in this bag because Again, I generally carry for three people and a dog, so I'm carrying a little bit more than average or a little bit more that'll fit in a 20 liter, but that's not why I bought this bag. I bought this bag to use as my Disney dad bag. It checks a lot of boxes for me. I got water bottle pockets. They're big enough for a hydro flask or my, uh, my Camelback chute, which is my water bottle of choice, and it fits all of my daughter's water bottles. So between me and my wife using small like 750 milliliters and my daughter's water bottle are smaller than that. Everything that we need fits inside really, really well. So I can put water bottles. I got my Dura Stretch front pocket for anything. It's 20 liters. So I'll probably use this as like my carry on um, when I'm going on the plane because it's a charter flight. So I get free checked baggage. So pff, why would I want to carry on my suitcase if I can make someone else do the work for me. So I'm gonna probably carry this on, and maybe bring like a sling to keep change and money and stuff in, but I'm gonna carry this on the plane, I'm gonna use this in Disney, and I'll probably test it out a little bit more until then, definitely put my Disney load out in here and walk around, but yeah, simple answer is yes, I do recommend it. So if you're on the fence about grabbing a Gregory Nano 20, I mean, you can get one for $52, that's killer. Even the $80 is still a really good price for the bag. So if you're thinking about it, I say 100% go ahead, pull the trigger, the bag is great. You won't be disappointed. So if you like this video, rate it with the videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications the next time I post a brand new video. Good night.